so today I'm gonna show you how you can root and install TWRP recovery on any Uni SLC 8541E CPU based smartwatches or any other device for that matter. In the last video I've already shown how you can use the, these three models but it's only for these models. If you have other models, you will need to create your own files. There is a way to extract the original firmware from other models, which I will not cover, but you can find some other tools for it. So first, you will need to extract these three partitions. The VP meta is to verify the signature of some other partitions. The boot is for storing the kernel. The recovery, of course, I assume you know what that's for. So, firstly, you will need to modify these files, of course. The to do it, you will need to modify the boot file, which you will do by running the Magisk app on the smartwatch. Here I used a third party app, click install, and I have already have it. I already have it installed. Don't do this if you already have it installed. It will not work. But I'm gonna show you how you can do it normally if you, it's not installed yet. You click install, click next, and select the file. Do not use this. If you have it installed and you click direct install, you will break the watch. Select patch a file and select the original boot file which I forgot to transfer here but just transfer the extracted boot file and patch it in the app after it's patched you can transfer it back to the PC okay so next is the recovery if you want to install TWRP you can it's actually very easy now you can use this Unlighted TWRP Builder for it. First you need to select the image type. It's only the recovery.img. The, because this is an A only device, so the recovery partition is its own separate partition. The Android version you need to choose 8.1 because it's what it is on the watch. It's not a B device and just upload the recovery file. This is a stock recovery. After the upload you can it will generate the ID you can paste here and download basically. This procedure you don't need to do anything but it will take a very very long time like from at least like five hours to a few days even. I won't do it now, I've already done it beforehand. And the boot file also, I've also it will generate this file in the downloads folder, you need to copy it to the PC like this. Okay, so let's copy these two files first. You need to download this tool, this one. I will leave the link in the video description. First, extract the tzip file into this folder. Now run the tool. It will generate three more folders. Put those two files in the input. And you need to put the original VB meta file in the inputs also. 
Now you will need to name them in a format so the tool can read the VB meta is VB meta dash sign. The recovery is recovery. The boot is boot. Okay, now we can press the extract VP meta on the tool. You don't need to change any of these. This is for unlocking the bootloader, which does not work. You don't need to use that. We are only gonna use it to sign the VP meta. Okay, we want to sign, want to change the boot and recovery partition. The system is not, the signature of the system is not checked and then the, these two you will want to modify this, but the signature of these two partitions is not checked, so you do not need to modify them. Okay, now the second most important thing. You will need to check the file you extracted. The size of the file, you can go to properties. The original boot file is 419430 overall which is the same as this but the recovery it does not match so you will need to edit this field just double click and paste the number in okay now just I check the images, wait a while, and it is finished. Now the finished file is in the output folder. You can just open your research tool or any other tool you you are using to extract those files just flash these three files you can see it is already booting it's booted into system already even and you can see it still boots the matches is installed I can do ATP reboot recovery Yeah, 
thanks for watching. Bye.